What about populating your entire zone mortalis or necromunda table with MDF terrain or other alternative options to Games Workshop? Is it cheaper? Is it quicker? Is it better? Maybe mixing and matching? Let's have a look and see what's available. Welcome back guys! So, in all my previous videos, if you've subjected yourself to the misery of watching them all, we've covered Zone Mortalis in some depth. We've choked at the costs, investigated the tiles, glued walls and columns into weird shapes, played Tetris with the platforms, fixed unsteady stairs and clipped on ladders. We've even constructed concrete walls and considered different foundations to put them all on. But what we didn't look at was all the other options you could consider instead. And there's still always the gang stronghold, the underhive market, scattered terrain, and a bunch of other scratch built stuff. But there's time for that. Let's talk about the other elephant in the room alternative kinds of Zone Mortalis terrain. I wanted to include a video about these to broaden everyone's options. Whilst I personally fell in love with Games Workshop's columns and walls, I fully understand that at their price point, there might not even be a plausible option. Especially smack bang in the middle of this cost of living crisis. Who's got any cash left over for terrain? First on the list is TT Combat's Iron Labyrinth. I can't really fault these in sheer quantity of terrain for the price. It looks good, works well, uses clever hooks to join together, and you can fill a large table quite robustly and densely with these kits. Everything can come as separate parts from things like doors to stairs, and this allows you to just buy the parts you need, when you need. But I'd be lying if I said it had no negatives. Putting parts of this together takes an absolute age. It took me just under one hour to put one column together and stay together. It's made of about 15 different bits, and while this creates more detail than many competitor products, it still looks like etched MDF, because of course it does, that's what it is. Here it is in size comparison to the Games Workshop stuff, with and without platforms. The walls are quicker to assemble, but with that comes a sacrifice in detail. I like it because it's terrain, and I love terrain, but let's be honest, it's really simple looking. Even painted, you can't get away from it looking like a painted MDF box, unless you add a load of greebles or textures to mask that, which then increases both cost and time to make. Also, it seems you can't buy platforms or walkways separately unless part of a bigger kit, unless I just missed them. The big... X on the column tops used to attach second level columns is a clever idea and works great, but it's a bit of a balancing pain when you want to put a model there. And it doesn't have any railings at all, as far as I'm aware, so if you want those, you'll have to source them elsewhere or scratch build. Finally, when I counted all the columns and walls and stairs and doors I had in a mix of plastic and scratch built sections and calculated the cost, the same amount of terrain from this kit comes in cheaper than what I built. But if you consider the vastly increased assembly time, then cheaper is a much, much slower way to build a less detailed looking table. A unicycle is cheaper than a bike, but I know which one I'd rather take to the shops. But it works, and it works very well. All in all, this terrain is a fantastic option for those who want more for less, but you need to be willing to put in much more time and effort to get there, and be willing to sacrifice model detail, component parts, and versatility. Another option are sets from Promethean Forge. In the comments, I've added where you can buy these around the world as they seem to sell them via third parties. They have two that will work, Pipeworks and Sector Magneticus. You'll need to source your own pipes for the Pipeworks set from a hardware store or plumbing store, so I'm not sure how much that will be. I don't imagine it would be bank breaking. I've still got hundreds of those plasma pipes I mentioned in my previous walls video, so I'm good, thanks. No pipes needed here. Forever. This kit has stairs, ladders, railings, all as part of what you get. No need to worry about those. And with some fiddling, I'm sure you could make modular multiple levels. Great if you like pipes. If not... The Sector Magneticus kit is the more expensive option, but comes with a lot of walls and columns. No stairs, ladders, railings or elevators though. This is literally just walls. But it does come supplied with magnets, so you don't need to source those. These are designed to work with the old cardboard Necromunda terrain tiles, so are smaller in height and width. This won't matter if you're using a battle map, but it might if you want them as an extension to other different kits. 
The full set covers what would be eight tiles for one level, so realistically, quite a big saving on the plastic kits. But again, you're sacrificing model detail, component parts and versatility versus the plastic kits, and you're only getting walls for the price. But I can't deny these are two great options. There's one set that I would absolutely love to have had if I hadn't already started with the plastic kits, and that's the complex from Mad Gaming Terrain. It's sold exclusively through 4TK.co.uk, so I'm not really sure how financially viable it is outside the UK. This has the usual kits of columns and walls, but also has a mind-melting array of additional elements that you can choose from. Gothic archways, detailing kits, buttresses, spires and roofing. I'd like to say this is cheaper than Games Workshop, but you could easily end up spending twice as much once you get going, because I would totally need balconies and working sliding doors. I'm pretty sure this is a Mars Total Recall reference. I might be wrong. Now, I've always loved the terrain from Foreground Publishing, but sadly they closed down a while back, so everything they made was migrated back to the parent company, timeagain.co.uk. The Olympus Mons terrain is a great and highly detailed set. If I'm correct, these are now made to order rather than shipping directly from a stocked warehouse, so they may take a little longer to receive. These guys have always made very detailed MDF kits, either pre-painted or not. In America, you guys have Blackside Studios who do similar amazing stuff I love, but taxes, import duties and potential transit breakage always put me off, sadly. This set is painted to a degree, so only minimum work would be needed to make it your own. Again, it's just walls and columns, so no stairs, ladders, platforms and railings, and the price for that is pretty hefty. But always a brilliant option to consider. Then there's a few that are worth mentioning that are fantastic, but depending on where you get them delivered can become even more expensive than Games Workshop kits due to the delivery charges, taxes and import duties. The exact same depressing problem I have when I want to buy Blackside Studios stuff. And you'll need to do your own investigation as some have stairs, railings and ladders and some don't. Best to check if they have all the parts you might want before you start with any of these. The Hive Sector by P-Work Games, same place I bought my battle mat. Deadbolt Derelict by Death Ray Designs. Maze of the Dead by Wargame Model Mods. This looks great, and I believe it was originally a Kickstarter, but I must admit finding the website and ordering process somewhat confusing. You can do it in order what you're looking for, but it's not your typical look, click and buy site, and not the easiest to navigate. I guess you need to know exactly what wall style, LED light colour and other stuff you want beforehand. And I'm not really sure how easily you can paint it if you choose to because of the LED lights. I'm sure I haven't covered all the MDF options here. I tried to find and aggregate as many as I know from doing my own research before starting my own table. There is another category that you may want to consider. That's alternative plastic or resin printed zone mortalis. So it's already printed for you. Being honest with you guys, I haven't found it to be that much more cost effective, but I could be wrong. By the time the seller has factored in plastic costs, resin and print time, these sets come in at around the equivalent price of Games Workshop for the volume of terrain you'd need, sometimes more. And most, if not all, are just walls and columns. So no stairs, railings or platforms, which seems to be the norm for a lot of these kits. Etsy has quite a big selection of Zone Mortalis terrain that you can buy as and when you need. The cheaper versions are usually filament printed, so you'll need to deal with layer lines and lower quality, which isn't really an issue if you're going for a dirty, rusty table, but if you like your models clean looking and layer free, then you'll need to go for resin. And the resin options look great, but the price goes up accordingly and by quite a lot. But as before, stairs, ladders, railings are usually missing again. The last one I'd like to call out is Mortian. I can't actually remember how I came across this, it might have been Kickstarter, but it's got some amazing extensions you can buy for Zone Mortalis, either pre-printed or as STL files. There's no full table of terrain here, it's only parts that will connect to Games Workshop stuff, but it looks outstanding. 
And your final option is just to print it yourself. There are loads of 3D models you can get from Yegi or Cult 3D. Many have questionable copyright legality, but that's a choice for you to make. There's always the fantastic Sector Fatalis models from the Dragon's Rest that we saw in the battle map video. I can't attest to the cost of printing these because I don't know how much filament or resin would be needed for the amount of terrain you'd need or want. Printing miniatures is one thing, as they're generally small. Terrain is a very different beast, as it's often huge. Your best bet would be to do a test run on one model for raw material usage and time to print. I do imagine that you'd be printing these for days and days at the speed things print. As for quality, well that would depend entirely on the model you purchased and your 3D printer. And of course, by the time you've added the cost of a 3D printer, the cleaning and curing machine if using resin, the time it takes to learn 3D printing, the resin costs, the printing time. Is it really that much cheaper? Now, in conclusion, Games Workshop kits are the most detailed and versatile of all, but with that comes the price. And being honest, a few of these mentioned give Games Workshop a very good run for the money on parts and modularity. If you like making and painting MDF terrain, they're great. And I do. If you're happy with etched details rather than moulded pipes, they're brilliant, but if you don't, you're never really going to get past the fact that MDF terrain will almost always look like MDF. So in short, MDF can be cheaper, it's less detailed, it's more fiddly to build and assemble, and it may not come with all the component parts of the terrain that you want. Plastic or resin can be cheaper depending on how it's printed, lower detail with FDM printing, higher detail with resin but at a higher cost, comes ready to clean up and paint, may not come with all the component parts of the terrain you need or want. Print it yourself, well you need a 3D printer, but you are in control of exactly what you get. You can scale and match from different 3D models and printing a full table will take a long time. You may not be able to accurately calculate your cost of raw materials, and it may take some work to match component parts of the terrain you want if it's not already part of the set. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you've decided to go with and how it's working out for you. In fact, just leave a comment. Talk to me.